I, uh, I don't mean to be the bearer of bad news, but I've been doing this for 20 some odd years. And I really do believe this is this right now is the hardest market to be shopping for an entry level home. It, it just is high prices, high interest rates, low supply. It's freaking bonkers out there today. Uh, and I thought Casey and I should step back and talk about what our advice might be, whether you are a investor looking to get into the market at that, or maybe if you're a first time home buyer shopping for your, uh, your first entry level home. Uh, we, we both know it's tough out there. So Casey, uh, this is a reality. I think in most markets across the country, what are you seeing? What are you hearing? What are you telling people? So as you guys probably know, I help aspiring real estate investors with their first rental property. Many of my students are out of state and I do residential. So single family up to fourplex. Usually it's like single family duplex, maybe a triplex here or there for some people. But at this entry level price point, um, it is very competitive. I can't say that there's one major market out there that I know of where people are just like easy to get deals. It wow. is hard no matter what across the country. We have a high competition, multiple offers, some over asking. I had several students, well, two, two students, different markets. They lost 30 offers. They they lost over in the, what they made an offer and they were beat out by 30 other offers. So oh, wow. two different markets recently in the past couple of weeks. So it's crazy. High competition, high interest rates. Prices are not really going down in this entry level market. And so we have to say, well, what can we do? How can we compete? And there's a couple of things, a few little tricks that we're kind of implementing. Um, it's not, they're not all tricks are for everybody, but there's a few things that people can do um, if it's right for you. Uh, I have some students that are using their home equity line, using their HELOC to make all cash offers. So this is great because you can compete with the all cash offers that are out there and you're able to buy it all cash. There are some HELOCs, some companies where you can do a fixed rate HELOC. So you're not freaking out about having an adjustable loan for whoever knows how long. And you can have a fixed rate HELOC and have a pretty regular interest rate and at least know what it's going to be. And then once rates go down, whenever that's going to be, then you can go to the bank and get a 30 year fixed loan. But at least you can compete with the all cash and you have a fixed rate um, you know, interest. So I don't know what your thoughts are on, on HELOCs. I'm, I'm leery with the adjustable, but with a fixed rate, at least you know what it's going to be. Yeah. I mean, I think it, it, they can work. I've used them in the past. I don't generally, re I think, I think people over leverage themselves with HELOCs. I, I would never put my house at risk unless you have a plan to get out of it within 12 months or less. If you have that plan, then, you know, by all means go for it. The first thing I would tell the folks is, Let's get very specific on what part of the real estate market is the worst I've ever seen. So I've already said part of the answer, but I haven't given you the second part. Part of the answer is entry-level homes, high interest rate, high prices, no inventory. So what is the hardest today? It's the pretty, it's the clean, it's the turnkey entry-level home. You're going to get multiple offers, bidding wars. That's, that's where it is the hottest and the hardest. So guess what? I don't shop there. What I will do, and I would recommend friends and family and followers do is, you know what? Instead of competing with everybody for the prettiest girl at the dance, let's go and look for something else. Let's go do, let's go do a 203K loan. Let's go find a property that has good bones but it's not being looked at because it's been on the market a while. It has a dated kitchen. The roof is bad, whatever. There are lending products, AKA the 203K loan, the 203K loan streamlined that are out there. Folks, the market sucks today. I've already told you it's the hardest I've seen in 23 years. But most of you, your mindset is broken. You're not looking where the opportunity is. If everybody is here, go here, right? I wrote a second book. I don't have it with me. 15 conversations with real estate millionaires. One of those millionaires is meet Kevin. Meet Kevin did a 203K loan in Southern California for his first deal for him and his wife, Lauren. Folks, there are amazing opportunities today because of high prices and high rates and all the focus on clean, pretty properties. 
go look at the ugly old stuff. That's what I would tell people. Yeah, there's um years ago, actually, because I've been helping students since 2019, and I will agree. This is the hardest I've seen it be to get properties. Like, this has been the hardest time. A few years ago, though, I had a student who lives in Southern California, and she wanted an owner-occupied, she wanted a duplex. And they were, they're really hard in LA with the, um, you have to like keep tenants in there if they've been paying, even when their lease agreement expires and they're over 60, like they're there for life with under market rent, like it's a nightmare. But anyways, um, we're like, well, how can we compete with all cash offers? Because this is a time when it was, you know, it was really competitive over there. And we found this company called Fly Homes. Mm. And it's a company that helps you make all cash offers. So they will front you the all cash purchase. You pay some of the closing fees, but they are reduced. And then you just go refinance with them. Once your property has closed, you go right away and you go refinance with a 30-year loan. But it helps you compete with all those people that have money for even those million dollar all cash homes. Now it's just for owner occupied and they're in select states, usually mostly on the West Coast. Um, I know I wrote them down. I guess you're some of the East Coast now because at the time it was just California. And now they've got like Washington, Oregon, Massachusetts, Texas, and Colorado. I wrote them down. But Fly Homes, I mean, I'm not affiliated with them, but it was a great resource. Mm -hmm. And it helped my student get into an owner-occupied property and compete, whereas she wouldn't have been able to get the property with a, you know, three or 5% down loan traditionally. Yeah. The other thing I would tell students, followers, and all this, again, this is entry-level hardest market, is we it's tough in the clean, pretty stuff. But the other thing I would tell them is go network with wholesalers. Most retail buyers only shop in the MLS. There's a whole off market system out there that if you tell folks what you're willing to buy, you, I, I have known people to get deals done and loans through with wholesalers. It can happen. Yeah. So again, it's hard. I get it. Who cares? Your job is to get the right thing for your family. Get a two, understand a two or three K loan, go meet some wholesalers, take your shots. I am personally only writing offers on properties 30 days or older because I know higher rates expose motivation. So I'm excited for what's coming or what is here. But I understand if you're an FHA, BA buyer, you have to buy a rent ready property. It is tough out there. I understand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Maybe ask your broker, mortgage broker, to see if they can do a 203K or a 203K streamline. If you're on my channel, reach out to Matt, the mortgage guy, Convoy Home Loans, whatever it is. There are options most people aren't looking at. So I would try to give you a word of encouragement just to think a little bigger. What do you think about assumable loans? Like, um, I know you can't assume a conventional, but I think FHA and VA loans, you can assume... Yeah. And you can get those lower interest rates, you know, oh, maybe absolutely. three or four, 5% interest rates. That could be yep. an option too. And I think, now I don't do PropStream, but I think on PropStream, you can maybe figure out what kind of um, loan they got. Yep, they um, and if it was it. an FHA or VA, maybe you could target them to assume their loan. Yeah, I'm going to talk with Anna Kelly on Wednesday this week. She posted on Facebook that she she's in contract to assume a loan. I believe, and again, we'll hear about this on Wednesday, uh, it's a VA loan that she's going to be able to assume uh, as an investor. So I think FHA, you can only assume if you're not, if you're owner-occupant. Right. I'm hearing VA may be different. Again, I don't know. I will ask Anna yeah. on Wednesday. Uh, I'm all for it. If you, if you can do it and it's above board and the lender's like, cool, yeah. go for it. Yeah, it might be an option. But I really agree with you on the, um, the old days on the market. A lot of sellers are still overzealous mm -hmm. and they don't really follow the news as much. And they are still thinking that things are selling. They're seeing things selling fast. And they're like, we can get whatever we want for these properties. And so when, for everyone that's watching, if you see a property that's 30 plus 90 days in the market, it doesn't mean that something's wrong with it. It doesn't mean that there's a big problem and that nobody wants it. It could be a myriad of things. One, maybe the seller overpriced in the beginning and he rejected many lowball offers. And now your offer is going to be the one where he they go, okay, fine. Like I'll take it. Maybe you'll be the one, you know, yep. maybe the property has been in and out of contract with multiple buyers. And every time they get to closing rates have gone up and now the buyer doesn't qualify anymore. Maybe they never locked their rate, you know? Yeah. 
It could be a lot of reasons why properties are on the market a long time. Not always because something's wrong with the house. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Again, I understand it's really tough out there. It's the hardest market I've seen for pretty entry-level stuff. Well, guess what, folks? Shop somewhere else. Casey, where can people find you? People can find me on Instagram every day at Brick by Brick Wealth, along with all the other platforms. And um, you can check out what I got going on my website, brickbybrickwealth.com. Thank you so much.